Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on, Mace Money? And this is Sportsbook Robbery. Got uh, one game on the slate. Uh, you got, they don't have the lineups out for New York yet. I mean, they got some of it, but they don't know if I was going to explain or uh, Phoebus and. You know, it's kind of going to alter what's going to happen. But I got a few plays. Uh, digging in and out, but we'll figure it out. Uh, it's that too, sadly. Been playing. Uh, she's been balling out. Uh, I dropped in the community. So my subscribers, 17 and a half when I seen it. They got it. They had it on uh, FanDuel right now. They only have that on BetMGM. So I recommend having multiple books. So you can find the best odds, the best lines. But uh, if you don't have that book, hopefully you placed it when I, when I dropped in the community. But uh, I mean, I'm comfortable at 18 and a half, but obviously if you can get it down, get it down. She's had two games since she came back from the Olympics, uh, 20 and 24 points. Shooting real well. Killing it on the threes. That's our next play. Uh, if you're betting large amounts, take the one and a half. Always all line it back. If you're betting larger amounts of money, use alternative lines. Bring the number down. You pay a little more juice, but it's easier to hit. Just makes more sense. Um, I played threes over two and a half. I played it last night. I got it at like 160. It's up to 178. She hit three her first game back. Hit five versus Liberty. She said playing again just the other night. Uh, shooting about 60% from three right now. It's only two games. Uh, you know, that they got to choose from. But uh, she's letting them fly. And she's hitting them. I've been cashing that one and a half. Uh, the one and a half was like 210 last night. So definitely wasn't going to play that. And uh, she's been hitting more than three. If you go back from when she started playing this year, it was during the Olympics. She's been averaging three. So let's get it. We got her on our points. Uh, Rike. Going rebounds over four and a half. Uh, they keep bouncing it back and forth, four, four and a half. It's the same thing if you think about it. As long as it's not, uh, if it's over four and a half, obviously it's different than uh, four plus. But um, plus one is 22. The odds keep changing as well. Like I said before, if you're spending more money and you're able to all line it back, all line it back, you can get it at three and a half. For minus one seventy four. Um, I played it last night, four and a half. So if I had the opportunity now, truthfully, I played at three and a half. Uh, I don't bet that much, so it's be kind of close at one seventy four. But uh, obviously, three and a half is better. She's cleared this, what, seven out of the last 10. New York is third overall and rebounds allowed to the guard position in last place. If uh, Eisenhower don't play, Phoebus don't play, it's going to be even easier for her to grab the rebounds. Um, for the year, 69% hit rate for this. Well, that's at three and a half. Let me jump back up to four and a half. Uh, for the year, 58%. Still just about 60%. Head to head, 
75%. They've only played once this year, so there's not a good uh, a good amount of stats to go from. But she did get six just when they just played. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to rock with it. Uh, I was going to play her threes, two and a half. Shoots good threes. Uh, as well as uh, her points line, but I missed it. If you could get it at like 17 and a half, I would take it. But uh, I just feel like rebounds is the safest bet. So in case she's off with her shooting a little bit on the threes, you don't got to worry about that. And it be all right. Enrique over four and a half rebounds. Let's get it. All right, next up. Went with Natasha Howard. Just digging and digging and digging and digging. Uh, points and rebounds over 21 and a half. Uh, let's see, let's see. For the year. Sixty uh, percent hit rate for the year. Let's break it down to the last five. Let's hit this four out of five. Um, you got a points line at fourteen and a half, rebounds at seven and a half. So when you add them together, it's like 22, 23, whatever it is. Um, I like to play combos when they're less than when you put them together. And obviously, if it looks good. So uh, a lot of times, they'll be even when you put them together or one more. But uh, this is actually under, because I was deciding to play your points. And, uh, but uh she just played the Liberty, obviously, last game. 13 points, 9 rebounds. Now, I don't know if uh, this way if she gets a couple more rebounds and maybe less points or more points and less rebounds. She shot pretty shitty. She don't shoot that great as it is, but she puts up a decent amount of attempts. She was 40%. It's not bad. She doesn't shoot threes, or she doesn't make threes for that matter, but she don't really shoot them. Um, averaging about 16 attempts these last five games, I'm making a little over six. She gets to the foul line. Uh, shot bad, and she would have shot her normal percentage from the foul line in that last game. She would have easily cleared this. She would have went over her points line and everything else. So uh, I just liked what I seen. It's going to be grabbing the boards, and uh, I expect her to have higher points than she did the last game. When a team, when two teams play each other back-to-back -back like this, there's always adjustments, so you can't always go by everything you've seen. But head-to-head, uh, -head, they only played once this year, so really don't tell us much, but... Uh, yeah, I'm a rock with it. Natasha Howard, points and rebounds over 21 and a half. Last five games, 80%. Last 10, 60. For the year, 60%. All right, next up, John Quill Jones, points over 14 and a half. Uh, more of a gut feeling than going off just straight statistics. Not really a crazy good hit rate for this, believe it or not. Uh, when they just played, she killed it at 23. Dallas isn't great at D. They're pretty bad, actually. They allow a lot of points. Uh, 12th is last place in points allowed. To the center, they're ranked 10th. Uh, like I said earlier, there's going to be adjustments when teams play back-to-back, -back, but... When Isaac being out, I don't know. She's going to have to score. So I just think the 14 and a half is too low. 
I'm not saying she's going to have 23, but I think she's going to go over it. I played it. Just cash it. John Quill Jones, don't fail me now. All right, last up, I got Stewie. Uh, Brianna Stewart, rebounds over eight and a half. Minus 122. Fandle. Um, pretty good rebound in the team as far as stats go, I guess. But uh, they don't shoot well. So defensive rebounds for Liberty, that would be... Uh, they're grabbing them. Uh, Still, we fit a year, about 50%. You know, she has her moments. Uh, like I've been saying, with our eyes and oak and stuff, she's going to have to step up. She will step up. She had 12 last game. Um, just think with... Uh, The last five home games, she's cleared uh, four out of five. She does a lot better rebounded at home, too. I guess her home crowd gets her motivated. She exceeded eight and a half rebounds in four of the last five home games, averaging, what does that say? Averaging 11. So, all signs point to go. Let's get it, Stewie. All right, my fault for rushing through this and everything. And uh, it's a tough, a tough game to, to kind of pick. The lines are a little iffy, and not knowing who's gonna play, it makes it more difficult. Every play I give you guys, I bet. Uh, go over that recap about yesterday too. You know, it's sports betting. It's hit or miss. A little thing could go wrong. It could be a domino effect. We would have did all right, but uh, what's her name? Got in, uh, Smith got in foul trouble immediately, so that messed up her rebounds. And then during her foul trouble escapade, she dished it out, and uh, Carlton hit her third three. It would have been her second three at the time. And fucking Smith got called for the foul. They took away the three. So that would have helped us cash that bet. So in all reality, she wrecked college. She wrecked her own by getting in foul trouble and wrecked Carlton's threes for us. And then uh, Brick City for, uh, what's her name on the, on the Aces? Plum. But uh, the other two cash, which were even money, a little plus money. But uh, shit happens. Sports betting. Like, comment, subscribe. Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go.